If your Navy Federal End Rewards card is about to graduate, then congratulations, you did it. And I'm 99% sure you're gonna be awarded with the Cash Rewards card, which is awesome to say the least. Or even if you're looking to add a new Navy Federal credit card to your repertoire, then this is going to be an awesome card to add as well. In today's lesson, I'm gonna give you all the details regarding this credit card, and I'm gonna give you all the tips and tricks I use to immediately raise my credit limit from very low all the way up to $25,000. So go ahead, go ahead, go get your pen and paper. I promise you I'll wait right here. And without further ado, let's dive in. All right, ladies and gents, and before we get started, I just wanna ask if you don't mind hitting that like button for me as it helps my channel out a ton. I really appreciate all your support. Now, enough of me rambling, let's get back into this Navy Federal credit card. Now, if you have the Navy Federal Secure credit card, then this is going to be the next card that you get. I got it and 99% of everybody else that had this card after everything graduated. But what I need you to understand is once this card graduates, you immediately go from secured to unsecured. First thing that you'll get is you'll receive an email stating that your card is graduated and you'll receive the card, the cash rewards card, in the next seven to 10 business days. And also the cool thing about this, which I appreciate Navy Federal for, even though your secure card is no longer active, Navy Federal makes sure that the cash rewards card has the same card information. So if you have any bills attached to the secure credit card, if you have anything on auto pay or anything of that nature, no need to switch anything. Everything will stay the exact same. It's just now that you're actually unsecured, which is dope. When I got this card and they told me I didn't have to switch anything over, I thought that was really, really helpful because think about it. Think about going to all your bill websites, your bill applications, changing stuff, going to Hulu, Netflix, changing all your card information. That could be very, very annoying. It could be an inconvenience. But thankfully, Navy Federal is trying to look out for you and then nothing has to actually change. Now, let's get into the actual information regarding this card. The Navy Federal Cash Rewards Card, they're actually running a promotion where you can receive $300 cash back and a Walmart Plus statement when you spend over $3,000 in the next 90 days, three months. So that means if you utilize this card, like a debit card, like I always say, and you make this your catch-all card, which means that you will use this card for every expense that you have. So that means you're going to pay your rent with this card, light, light bill, gas, water, groceries, any subscriptions that you have, AKA being a responsible adult, then I know you're going to hit this $3,000 mark very easily. Just please, disclaimer, please make sure you pay everything off by the due date and make sure you keep your utilization below 10%. Please, I'm really asking y'all, please be responsible. Also, as you can see right here, the Walmart Plus credit statement states that you get a one-time credit of the $98, but you actually have to pay the annual membership with this card. And if that's something that you're actually into, this can be a plus as well. So you get two for the price of one, the $300 and the Walmart Plus. Now let's talk about the actual reward. This is an actual cash reward card, i.e. the name of the credit card, cash rewards. <laughs> but you receive 1.75% cash back on all purchases. Also, the credit card has no annual fees and you actually get to choose if you want to integrate it as a Visa or a MasterCard. The APR is kind of high, but I'm not surprised because of the economy. It strains from 14 all the way to 18%. But like I teach everybody over here, that's not gonna bother you. Why? Because we don't play minimum balances over here. We pay everything off by the due date. We don't, no, that's a scam. We are not trying to give Navy Federal any extra money on top of the money that we already owe at the end of the month. Now, let's get into the actual fees itself. The cash rewards card has no cash advance fees if it's done at any actual Navy Federal establishment or an ATM. Otherwise, it is a 50 cent per domestic transaction or a $1 per foreign transaction. I just wanna tell you right now, just to kinda of think twice before you actually pull the trigger on that, which is why I just wanna keep it real with you. The transaction fees are always high. They always have high interest rates and fees. So if you're trying to get cash off your credit card, I already have you covered. Check out my Navy Federal hack on how you can actually get the money off your credit card with no fees. Check that video out next. Overall, this is a decent card to have. 
As you can see, I still have it. But if you ask me, my flagship card is probably my best in my opinion, but it is subjective. Now, I want to give you my strategy on how you can actually immediately increase your credit limit to $25,000. So depending on your secure credit card status, I'm pretty sure when Navy unlocks your status to unsecured, they will award you with a credit limit of two to five thousand dollars which is fine that's great that's really good but i don't want you to run the risk of staying stagnant in that credit limit so even if the car graduates or even you applied and got a low limit you have at least three to six months to put yourself in position to get a way higher limit so the first thing that i want you to do is access a pledge loan i've talked about this a bunch of times what this would do is you're going to add more data points with navy federal aka raising your internal score with them so what i want you to do is when you access this loan i want you to immediately pay 80 to 90% of it all and then allow the rest of the remaining payment to be on auto pay. So that's going to be a very small amount that's going to be auto pay until it's completed. It could be two, three hundred dollars or something of that nature. Next, while that is going, I want you to continue to put more money into your account. When I started this, I started to put at least one to 200 extra dollars in my account every single month. Why? Because this allowed Navy to access fractional reserve banking when you keep money in your account. When you keep money in your account, you're allowing Navy Federal to utilize that money and to give it to people who are applying for credit products, thus making it easier for Navy Federal to lend out money thus giving you the internal score boost that you need. And trust me, Navy Federal is gonna take into account that you actually keep money in your account and it seems that you are very committed to them. Trust me, so when you apply for your credit limit, everything is going to rise even higher. Now, by doing all this, let's say it's been three to six months. What I want you to do now is pull the trigger for the credit limit increase. Do this through your portal and await your results. It should be a soft pull when you do it through your portal. Once you have all these components in place, the pledge loan, fractional reserve banking, having money in your account, you will immediately get that $25,000 credit limit boost you've been looking for. I promise you, because I did the same exact thing. So to sum this up, the Navy Federal Cash Rewards card is a very decent card to start with or have once your secure card graduates. This card can be, again, your catch-all card and a stepping stone to get you the flagship card. Also, if you want to get access to better credit cards, but your credit isn't actually where it needs to be, click the link in my bio and me and my team will set you up with a 15-minute consultation on what we're going to do to remove those negatives off your credit profile to get you that 800 credit score. Score. But I'm curious to know what you guys think. Do you like this card? Do you have this card? Let me know what you think about this all in the comment section. I want to appreciate you guys for stopping by. Now go get that $25,000 credit limit, all right?